Hey guys, welcome to your Twin Flame Collective reading. So let's see what's going on for the collective. What sort of energies are coming through for the collective. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's see the clarifiers before we dive in. So let's see the clarifiers for the collective. Okay. Whew. Wow. Okay. And we have temperance on the bottom of the deck. Right? <clears throat> okay. So kind of heavy energy. Right. Um now I will say this is heavy um kind of heavy separation energy going on here. It could be um that you have a separation going on with your twin flame and um at the same time, there's some separation, some other separations or endings going on in your uh, 3D uh, life. <clears throat> because it feels to me like this is kind of a, a wave. That's how I'm actually seeing it. It's a wave of endings. So for some of you, we are talking here about um concluding it could be concluding jobs it could be retirement for some of you it could be um selling of businesses or if you've been a partner in some sort of um of an initiative or in a project uh kind of passing on the baton to someone else right so it's it's an energy of uh, changing hands, something changing hands, uh, someone else continue, continuing your work or continuing your initiatives, continuing your efforts. Um, when it comes to relationships, of course, that can mean uh, separations and divorces from soulmates or karmic partners or false flames in some cases. Um, now, it does feel to me like because I have kind of perhaps three things ending at the same time. So if we are going to consider one of them your separation from your twin flame, um, because you are not in a twin flame relationship right now or you are not at a divine union frequency of a twin flame relationship, so that would be one of the three. Uh, ending energies I've got going on, then there's at least two other things kind of reaching an ending here. Jobs, uh, places where you've lived, friendships, um, dynamics in some cases. It, it could be dynamics um, or dealing with grief, dealing with loss, um, recovering from that. So there's a lot of uh energy of 
ending chapters, ending um, storylines in a sense. And this is more of the energy of wrapping things up and kind of learning the lessons which have been um, kind of given or um, shared with you. Um, there's also an energy of, of uh, being done injustices or being treated unfairly, being disappointed, um, unequal exchanges of energy, unfair exchanges of energy in the sense that someone was giving a lot and someone else was uh, not giving much or not giving anything at all, right? There's, uh, for some of you, the energy of conflict, there's the energy of tension, there's the energy of um, kind of tumultuous interactions, uh, journeys, relationships. And it is, for some of you, I am getting that feeling um, you've been involved in something which is creative in nature, which involves a lot of inspiration, which involves a lot of um, ideas coming up, brainstorming, and you haven't been rewarded accordingly to your efforts and to your investment and to your results as well, I'm hearing. So, for, for some of you, these endings coming in, <coughs> sorry, do you feel like relief, even though they there are they are endings, so there is an element of pain to them, right? To some extent, there is a, a grieving process, even if you are wrapping up a phase or a situation which had become painful or uh, com uh, conflict uh, driven or uh, very tense or even argumentative or. Um, kind of aggressive energy, right? So even if things go to that level, once you close up the chapter, it kind of feels like a, a bit of a loss, simply because you have inertia, inertia going on, right? So you were used to things going on in one way, and then you suddenly put an end to it, and there's a moment of um, not having balance, right? But overall, Whatever chapters you are closing, it feels to me like relief. It feels like reaching, a, getting closer to reaching a phase of inner peace, getting closer to reaching a phase of inner balance. Because these things which were going on, even though they might have been productive or abundant or satisfying to some extent, something about what was going on here was innately unfair, unjust. And there's an end to that. This could also mean that you are heading as a twin flame relationship towards reaching an ending of your separation phase, but, but right now the ending of that separation phase is not necessarily in the cards. So this is more of a phase of working on um, wrapping things up, working on karmic lessons, because this can also be karmic lessons and karmic energies as well, right? So it's more of an energy of uh, learning those lessons, incorporating those lessons, moving on with the new wisdom, the new knowledge, the new information, having learned more from that kind of, kind of a dynamic, that kind of a relationship, that kind of a situation, um, so in a sense it is heavy energy because there there are endings and there's some some grief and some loss connected to that but at the same time this feels like the energy of relief so this would have been dysfunctional frustrating um, overwhelming situations which kind of escalated because I'm, I'm seeing stairs, so things which escalated up to a point where it was an unfair, unbalanced situation and it had to come to a stop because it was hurting you 
overall, even if you might not have been aware of that. But there's the energy of something eating at you, right? So it had to come to an end. And even though it's kind of difficult, because it is an ending, the overwhelming feeling and sensation I'm getting is that of relief. <clears throat> so let's see here the advice from Spirit. Let's see what your advice from Spirit is in this situation. Hmm. Third eye chakra. And on the bottom of the deck we have manifest. Okay. So what I'm feeling guided to say right now is that all of this energy of cycles coming to an end by using your third eye chakra, by using your spiritual uh, intuition, by using your spiritual gifts, you can manifest a new direction because there's so much energy of things wrapping wrapping up that it's going to bring in, it's going to attract towards you, it's going to magnetize the energy of new beginnings, of pos possibilities, of potential, of growth, of development. So this is an excellent time to kind of sit back a little bit, assess, reassess the situation and kind of decide where you want to direct this potential because there's a big potential of manifesting growth and development coming in as you wrap these cycles up, right? So this is an excellent time to kind of sit back, think about it, decide where you want to direct all of that potential because with the third eye and card number six, there's great success waiting for you here. It's simply a matter of uh, deciding where you want to manifest it. So there are great blessings coming in. Now in the extended we are going to take a deeper look at how these energies play out for the Divine Feminine and Masculine. I hope you are going to join me in there, um, in that. And if not, I'm sending you my highest vibes of unconditional love and support. And we'll be seeing you soon, okay? Bye!